So Ziggy also found, I uh, was reading some of the athletic articles. He, he saw Matt Schneidman has mailbag and Packers questions. And Ziggy was so moved by one of the questions and responses that he sent it into our group chat and said, this has to be in the show because I don't think Packers fans feel this way. So Schneidman was asked, the first question was, how close are the Packers to contending for a Super Bowl in comparison to previous years? So and we're talking about the Aaron Rodgers, the late Aaron Rodgers years in 2019 to 2021, roughly. And Schneidman said he does not see much difference in the Super Bowl potential between the 2019 to 2021 teams and 2024. That current Packers fans, they feel like they're playing with house money right now with Jordan Love. He's entering year two and the offense is still so young that they really have nothing to lose by going out there and just playing this season. Um, he also said, with that being said, there can still be the expectation of Super Bowl contention and a realistic one based on what they did last season and who they returned. So Ziggy, you firmly disagree that Packers with that, with that opinion, right? That Packers fans should feel that. What, what, what do you disagree with? That Packers fans, how they're feeling or that Packers fans? Both how they're feeling and how they should feel. Okay. Ask that saying, because I take him to be saying there, well, like, look, Packers fans, here's how you feel. You're saying, look, we got a decent team, but it's house money. Jordan loves young. We've got a long time with him. Everything's going great. If things go well next year, awesome. If not, no problem. I think that's a I don't think that's how Packers fans are looking at the season. Maybe y'all come in the comments and tell me I'm wrong. But from what I've been reading and hearing from you and how I think you should be feeling next year needs to be a year where stuff happens because the Jordan Love extension is coming due. All of these young weapons, their money's coming due. The those magical moments you get where a defense can sort of grow of a young quarterback, where a young quarterback is really showing they've got something when you've got some offensive magic, those don't last in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Right. Eventually you start to lose that edge, right? People become a little bit older, they become a little disenchanted, things change in a locker room, coaches change. Like when you've got those kinds of expectations on you, things can get bad. And, you know, if we're talking about the, how the Packers were in like those late Rogers seasons, there were expectations for them to win. Sure. But you could tell people in the building felt it and it changed what they did every single day. I think that if you're a Packers fan, based on the fact the team was very good last year and the fact that, you know, Jordan Love, there's not a lot of time with him, not on a mega deal. You know, we've got people in the comments saying that the Packers should be signed to 600, 700 million dollar deals. I'm not sure that's coming, but something big is coming. If this season is a waste, say the Packers don't win a playoff game this year. They like make the wild card game and don't do it. Well, Packers fans say that's house money, not a big deal. We'll get them next year. Absolutely. I think yeah, they'd no be way. really disappointed if we don't get at least as good a season as last year. And frankly, I think fans want a better one. I mean, they should have every reason to want a better one. I mean, well, like, how, how could you not? Especially a big part of that to me is that they're so used to this is a winning organization. Wait, wait. So you agree with you? So you're disagreeing. Ziggy, I think no. I, I think he's agreeing. No, okay, okay. I think Packers fans should expect to have a two Super Bowl potential type season this year. Yeah, the, in the same in the same way that they did in the twenty nineteen to twenty twenty one seasons. Yeah, I'd say I, I'd say so. Maybe I'd even, more, even more. Honestly. Yeah, I could say even more. Hmm. I mean, you you have a quarterback who just showed that he's he could be elite. He's top five in MVP odds. They were in the NFC divisional round. Should have won the game on the road. But a big uh, factor to me when making this case is similar to the Steelers, probably a little bit better. It's a winning organization, a team who's had so much success in the past and who just seems to, this stuff just seems to happen to them. Uh, it's different than a team, I don't know, like if it was the Browns or the Jets, oh, miracle season. But all right, Green Bay, another elite quarterback, like here we go. So do you guys think... Do you guys think that they are just as close as the 2019 to 21 teams? Like you, you do believe that? I mean, I, I didn't believe that the, those the late Rogers and the MVP late Rogers teams. teams had more of a shot than this current team. Okay. Does. Do you, yeah. what about you Ziggy? I think it's easy to like sit, like we can look back and say those teams really had a lot of potential. There should have been high expectations, but I think people forget there were a lot of questions about Aaron Rodgers around that time. There were questions about the defense back then, too. Like, there were a lot of question marks surrounding that team. I take this team's question marks over that team's question marks almost every day of the week. Okay. I see. I, I don't necessarily disagree with Schneidman when he says that the expectation can be Super Bowl for Green Bay this year. Or like, or even saying that this team has as good a shot as the 2019-2021. I would 
I would lean those 2019, 2021 MVP Rodgers, Devontae Adams. Where I disagree with him is the perception that Packers fans have. I think Packers fans expected to win the Super Bowl with those Rodgers teams where they were going, they had 13 wins every season. And again, Rodgers was an MVP. I think that that was expecting to win the Super Bowl. And this is hoping to win the Super Bowl. Like if the Green Bay wins the Super Bowl, I don't think many Packers fans are going to sit back and say, yep, that's what we thought was going to happen. They'll say like, that's, that's what this point. was the dream scenario. While those old Rodgers teams, I think they would have been like, okay, finally we got one. Like, thank God we got this. Yeah, but I mean, that I don't think that was because the expectations were high for that particular season. I think it was just because so much had built up mm -hmm. since their last Super Bowl. There were so many seasons where Rodgers could have won it. I think the other way you can look at it is if oh, they yeah. get bounced, yeah. if they get bounced in the divisional round, they get bounced. Like, how are they going to feel? And the way they're going to feel, I think almost certainly isn't. Hey, you know, it was house money. We did all right. We'll get them next year. It's going to be, we didn't improve. Jordan Love's mega deal is impending. We got problems. Yeah. So, so what you're saying is like, if the Packers hit their absolute ceiling, what they can do potentially at their best is win a Super Bowl. Whereas those Rodgers years, it was just expected to happen. I'm saying in the Rodgers seasons, fans going into the year were like, we're winning the Super Bowl this year. Like, like this is this is what we the expectation is win the Super Bowl this year. If you were asked the Packers, if you gave them truth serum and said, "What do you expect this year?" I think they'd say very, very good season. Losing the playoffs, like, but probably losing like the you know confidence. Like, I don't know if they expect to actually win the, even though they're saying it. I'm not sure they actually expect to win. They're hoping and they're very hopeful, which I think is they're absolutely entitled to be. Sure, yeah, absolutely. But I think that there was more pressure, and Ziggy was right when he said. The failures of the Rodgers teams is part of what spurred on that. Like, okay, this has to be the year to win, and we're good enough. But this team, I think next season is going to be the one when, next offseason is when really Packers fans are going to say, okay, like, this team is, is should win. Unless uh, unless the cheese rots. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Unless the cheese rots, loves a letdown, and they stink. Yeah, so overall, I agree with him that the, I think, I think that this team is a great chance to win, very close to 2019, 2021. I just disagree with him on what the we. It seems like we all kind of disagree a bit on what the fan perception is. So let's know. We'll, we'll see. I mean, I've been trying to read Packers fans that are in our comments, but maybe they'll come in and say, "Actually, we'd be totally fine with a loss in the wild card." Yeah, no. Let no let us deal. know what your expectation for next season is, and then what you know, like. Yeah, would you be content with? I mean, obviously, you won't be content, but like, would you? Would you season yeah. as a win? And also, also let us know American cheese or cheddar cheese. <laughs> what kind of cheese do you like that? So 